Uh, we have been fundamentally bearish about China uh, for the past few years. And uh, the recent stimulus measures have really boosted the markets, but we still do not see any clear signs that the picture has fundamentally changed. China is a centrally commanded economy, right? I think that uh, a lot of things still need to change at the top in order for the economy to fully recover and more importantly for consumer sentiment to turn around. And right now we are still assessing the situation. China is obviously an important market as far as the global economy is concerned. We are invested but we are not overweight. You're invested not overweight. M? Paul, if I can just continue on that, uh, we've been listening in from the IMF and in their semi-annual report looking at uh, the global economy. They expect the United States uh, to be, of course, uh, the anchor for uh, the global economy in the coming two years. Uh, but as far as China is concerned, they did not uh, revise upwards or downwards the growth project prospects for the Chinese economy for 2025. And this is despite uh, all this that has been thrown at the Chinese economy. Uh, does that surprise you? And what is your expectation for Chinese growth? Well, the news is fresh off the, fresh off the press, but uh, we are in full alignment with, with what I just heard from you, Emily. Right. I don't believe that uh, China has turned around the corner, fundamentally speaking. And we think that the road ahead will still be full of speed bumps. But like I've mentioned earlier, China is an important market for us and globally, and we definitely keep close tabs. But at the moment, we do not foresee a huge turnaround.